Hello everyone. I'm Young Seok Kim and I am PhD student at KAIST. This is, uh, is the joint work between KAIST and Hanyang University and this work was done by Jun Hun Chue and Dong Seok Kim. Today, I will be presenting the research paper Rated Region of Interest Fusion Network for Robust 3D Object Detection from Radar Point Cloud and Monocular Image. 3D object detection plays an important role in understanding the surrounding environment in many applications, such as robot or autonomous vehicle. 3D object detection is the task to predict oriented 3D bounding box of object, which consists of X, Y, Z position, size, and orientation in the vehicle coordinate system. At the same time, we have to classify the category given sensor data such as LiDAR or radar or camera image. The LiDAR is one of the most popular choice for highly automated vehicle due to its high accuracy. However, the LiDAR is not yet suitable for mass production and hard to be mounted on the vehicle. Due to the nature of its operating mechanism, such as many moving parts, LiDAR has high cost high maintenance and low reliability issues. Meanwhile, camera and radar have been widely used in ADAS over a decade. Their fundamental mechanism is very suitable for mass production and there are many off-the-shelf products in the market. Therefore, it can be said that the camera and radar are readily available sensors and they provide high performance potentials. Camera and radar have their pros and cons. The RGB pixels of camera provide rich contextual information and dense angular resolution. However, pixels do not directly provide the distance information and the camera is not robust to weather or lighting conditions. On the other hand, radar can measure a long distance even in the harsh weather condition. As shown in the table, the properties of camera and radar are complementary. We can expect a huge performance improvement when the two sensors are used together. In this slide, I will briefly introduce the radar signal processing process and its representation. FMCW radar is generally used in automotive and it transmits and receives radio wave to measure distance, angle, and velocity using FFT. After that, the conventional signal processing algorithm such as CIFAR detects points from background noise and clusters. And finally, the points are clustered and tracked into object level data. This object level data is traditionally been used for ADAS, but its performance is limited to less complicated in environment such as highways. So in this study, we exploit the radar in the point cloud representation to achieve the LiDAR level performance. The most learning-based sensor fusion studies assumes that both input data provide useful information and they both can contribute to improving detection performance. However, one of the input data can be abnormal and it cannot contribute to improving performance. In the worst case, the performance can be even degraded if the normal data affects more than the normal data. In the shown example, radar input on the left vehicle is not normal, and the image input on the right bus is not normal. This kind of situation can be commonly happened in the real world, but it has not been studied thoroughly in the previous researches. This study focuses on robust 3D object detection, even if one of the input data is abnormal or corrupted. So we formulate the problem as to classify and localize object in 3D space, given partially abnormal multiple sensor inputs. To solve this problem, we use two key ideas. First, Instead of directly fusing the input data or fusing prediction results from each input, 
We fuse two ROI features from each modalities. ROI-wise fusion is expected to make the best use of the both sensor input. Second, we allow the network to put more weight to the appropriate input data. By using the proposed fusion method, the network will exploit the normal data more than abnormal data to detect the object robustly. Let me start by giving an overview of the proposed architecture. The network has two separated fixture extractors for image and radar points input. Next, 3D anchors in the 3D space are projected onto the each modality's view and features are extracted from projected ROI. The extracted ROIs are combined by the proposed gated ROI fusion module and used to predict the 3D bounding box using a two-stage detector scheme. In the following slide, I will introduce the radar pre-processing method to fully exploit the radar point considering the unique properties of radar. After that, I will introduce the gated RI fusion module, which is the key component for the robust fusion. And please refer the paper for more details on the network that is not described in this video. Uh, the one of the weakness of, of the radar is that the points are very sparse compared to the LIDAR. We redeem this problem by accumulating multiple sweeps collected during 0.5 seconds. However, as highlighted in the blue circle, the distance to the object measured over time is not accurate because both ego vehicle and surrounding objects are moving. To deal with this problem, we utilize the Doppler information of each point to compensate the motion of a moving object. We assume the moving object have a constant velocity model for a short time period. As a result, we can obtain a much denser radar point without losing the accurate spatial contour of object. After feature extractors extract features from radar and image inputs, 3D anchor is projected onto each feature map and projected ROIs are extracted. When extracting ROIs from feature map, we adopt the ROI align method to minimize the quantization effect on the ROI boundaries by using bilinear interpolation. Uh, extracted ROIs are fed to the gating network to predict the weights of each sensor input. Predicted weights are feature-wise multiplied to each ROI features and normalized after element-wise summation. We evaluated the proposed method on using data set because the NUSIN is the only data set that provides radar point cloud data with 3D annotation. For the evaluation, we use average precision metric at 0.5, 1, and 2 meter threshold, as the NUSIN uses the distance threshold instead of intersection over union, which is commonly used in Kitty data set. As a result, the proposed method achieved comparable performance to the LiDAR by using chip, camera, and radar sensors. The following slides explain how and why fusing radar and camera can significantly improve the recall and precision performance over the radar alone method. This video shows the comparison between the proposed fusion method with the LiDAR alone and the radar alone method. We observe that the radar alone often fails to detect object when the radar point is missing on the object due to high occlusion or low resolution of radar. However, radar and image fusion succeed to detect even when there is no radar points on object at all. Therefore, the fusion method can have a higher recall than the radar alone method. Also, 
The radar alone suffers from many first positives caused by detecting metal objects as vehicles. However, the visual cues provided by image can overcome this problem. In rainy environments, the number of LiDAR points decreases and it leads to the performance drop of the LiDAR method. Meanwhile, the radar maintains the performance regardless of the weather condition. In this scenario, we observe that the number of LiDAR points on distant object is only a few. However, the number of radar points remains relatively constant regardless of distance. This shows that the radar has an advantage in detecting distant object. We analyze how much the gated fusion method improves the performance compared to the naive fusion method such as element-wise mean or concatenation. The proposed gated fusion shows higher recall, especially when the number of radar points on the object is few. This verifies that the abnormal data can degrade performance, which is a few points on the object in this case, but proposed, proposed fusion method remains robust performance. In addition, we analyze the weights assigned to the image and radar features by gated RI fusion network. Interestingly, the gating network puts more weight to the image features when the object has no or only few radar points on object. On the other hand, if there are enough points on the object or the object is too small in the image, the gating network puts relatively more weights to the radar feature. It helps us to understand the behavior of network and it makes the deep learning network interpretable. This video shows a 360 detection result on the new scene test set. The proposed fusion network successfully detects objects all around the vehicle. And the network is well generalized to detect distant vehicle up to 60 meters. In summary, our contributions are as follows. First, we introduced the potential of inexpensive camera and radar to replace the expensive LiDAR sensor. Second, we proposed a robust RI fusion method using gating network, gating mechanism to handle the partially abnormal input data. For future works, a multi-class detection head is required to detect various types of moving objects. Moreover, we plan to implement the proposed method on our vehicle platform and test the algorithm in challenging environments. I'd like to thank you for your time and I would be happy to answer any questions.